How's it going guys? Shape here and welcome to the channel. This video is going to go over some quick and easy gold farms to add to your daily list. They are meant to be lazy gold farms because you don't really have to do much other than check on if a rare is up or loot an item. Now before we get into the video I wanted to say all the farms I'm about to go over could vary on your server's market and ability to do the farm. They aren't going to be farms to consistently count on but those that are easily forgotten and low efforts but high reward if you get the items to drop. If you wanted non-lazy farms that give you a quick turnaround, then I suggest you check out some of my other videos that cover those topics. I have covered some of these farms in the past, but I thought it was the perfect time to reintroduce some of you guys to them so you can maximize all of your gold efforts. The first farm I wanted to go over is going to take us out to Shadow Moon Valley. We are going to be looking for a rare called Kaleidus. Here are all the spawn points listed for Kaleidus, and I will provide you some coordinates linked for TomTom Tom below. The easiest way to find this rare is to have a character parked out at this location and just log in to do a quick lap to see if it's up. You can choose the wait on the respawn timer which is said to be around 4-6 to six hours if you'd like. I usually check on one of my park characters out here early in the morning and I don't have too much problem finding it. The items you're going to be on the lookout for are the Emerald Beholder's Eye, the Amethyst Beholder's Eye, the Crimson Beholder's Eye, and the Fiery Beholder's Eye. Drop chance is around 20 to 30% for all of these items and you usually get at least one to drop. They all sell for a pretty good price on most servers and are currently going from anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 gold on my server. The rarest of the bunch is the plate piece, the Crimson Beholder's Eye. All the item sales rate is between 0.02 to 0.03 so no different than any other normal transmog sales rate. Very easy and quick farm to do so it shouldn't take you more than 5 minutes to do a loop around to see if this rare is up. The second farm I wanted to go over is going to take us out to the Isle of Thunder. This farm is easily looked over, but the item is fairly easy to get and tends to sell pretty fast as well. The item that we are looking for is a sealed tomb of the Lost Legion. It is used to turn warlock fire spells green and I have made a ton of gold off of just selling it. All you have to do is a quick lap around the island to see if the rare is up. Parking a character on some of the spawn points is the best way to get one of these the fastest because it will take you less than 5 minutes to do a quick lap to see if the rares are up. Wowhead says it has a 2% drop chance but I find that hard to believe because I see it pretty often. I don't put very much effort into this at all besides logging in every now and then to do a quick lap and check if the rares are up. When you do get this a drop it will go for around 35 to 40,000 gold on most servers currently and there is always a warlock looking to change the color of their spells. The third farm I wanted to go over is going to take us out to the Swamp of Sorrows. There is a rare called Molt Thorn that patrols around the area. Here is all the spawn points for this rare. The item to be on the lookout for is called a Living Cow. There are always only a few in the auction house because it only has a drop chance of around 1% and they usually sell for around 100,000 gold. Again all you have to do is just park a character out here and occasionally check to see if it's up. If you wanted to camp the spawn, it is said to be around 2-3 to three hours, so good luck with this one. The next farm I wanted to cover is going to be the most expensive item that we have covered today. This will take us out to Loch Madan. A rare creature named Boss Galgosh will patrol around this area. The item to be on the lookout for is called Support Girdle and has a 0.12% chance to drop. This is a highly sought after transmog item and players are willing to pay a lot of gold for it since it is so rare. Like the farms before, just park a character out here and hope that when you kill Boss Galgosh that it drops this belt because you will be in for a nice payday once the item sells. The average price of this item is about 215,000 gold on my server and even has a US mean price of over 475,000 gold. I have been camping this mob for quite a while and have only had the pleasure of seeing the item drop a couple times. It took a few months to sell, but most rare transmogs do, so if you already don't have this on your list, definitely a good one to add. Now for the last farm that I wanted to cover today, it's going to take us out to the Crystal Vein Mine in Stranglethorn Vale. If you are unfamiliar with what lies in this cave, then I have a treat for you. A rare creature named Skellbelly sits up on this rock and has a 0.5% chance to drop the Chromatic Sword. This is a highly sought after transmog item and players are willing to pay a lot of gold for it since it is so rare. The respawn timer is pretty long for this mob, so you're going to have the best bet of just parking a character inside the cave at this spot and hope that when you kill Skellbelly that it drops the sword because you will be in for another huge payday once the sword sells. 
The average price of this item is about 220,000 gold and even has a US mean sales price of 350,000 gold or more. Out of all my time camping for this mob, I have only seen the item drop once, so it's pretty rare. I said this before, but when I get it again, I'm going to save it for my personal collection because it really is that rare. As I said before, none of these farms are guaranteed and may take some time to sell once you do have the item, but they don't take too much time to throw into your daily routine, and especially if you have a few extra characters to park around, it makes it quick and easy. Well, there you have it, guys. Some quick and easy gold farms to throw into your daily mix. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe and drop a like if you enjoyed the video to show some love for the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.